It will be. So actually I found out, mm. I just did a video, we're actually live now, but oh. we'll wait till it, so we'll just act kind of like, yay, hi, we're, we're going live. <laughs> <laughs> We're live. We're live. We're live and we're alive. Live and live. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So Karen, who is my neighbor? Yeah. Um, we just realized like, like we really haven't seen each other in person for like two years. Two years. I two know. Two years. It's, it's the time. Time. It's, it's, it's just weird. It is yeah. weird. <laughs> There's no other way to describe it. It's weird. So I am so excited to have yeah. you here. Um, this is such a timely and important topic. Yeah. And so I want to just dive right in about why, to me, uh, this is so valuable. Okay. So uh, when I opened up into this whole concept of the five element consciousness, which is how all of our organ systems are connected with mm -hmm. nature, mm -hmm. and the big piece that really got me is from the perspective of nature, natural law, mm -hmm. there is no concept of control. There is only very high level creativity, yeah. cooperation, and collaboration. Uh -huh. So all this idea of conflict and control is something that we create at a human level that goes against natural law, which is part of the reason why it feels like, okay, this doesn't, this doesn't sit right. There's something mm -hmm that's gotten stuck mm -hmm. in our process of connecting yeah. that um, can potentially open up to something so much more beautiful and creative yeah. and collaborative. So there's that level. And the other piece just with healing, it's a big part of my practice is, yeah. you know, there is no disease or illness. There's only undiscovered purpose yeah. because so much of our traditional mindset of looking at the physical symptoms and conditions we have is that we are in conflict with ourselves. And I flipped that on its head when I entered this other way of seeing medicine yeah. to see that this is my higher self trying to collaborate and connect and support my, my human experience. So yeah. what you do in your work <laughs> is, is so much yeah. about how we work with this concept of conflict, which even that word, like it's like Conflict, right. conflict, 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 right. conflict. It, it's, never, it's interesting, Melissa, because so many this times... This is Karen Belinchik. Oh, everybody. <laughs> of good Spiral to, Impact. Yeah, Spiral <laughs> Impact. It's so good to be here with you today. And, and you know, it's, it is interesting because I mainly work in organizations mm -hmm. is what I mainly do. But I find when people know that I'm an ex, I have expertise in conflict, so often they'll say, well, I don't have any conflict. And oh, I always just... Like I, I just always <laughs> smile at that because it's like, well... We, we all have conflict and really understanding it, I think is important. And I like your, um, about nature, because I, I actually have a video I created a, a few years ago that conflict is like water. Mm. And so if, I, if, if, if I'm wanting to try to um, calculate the cost of conflict, it's like you can look at water and measure it. And, and, and really natural conflict is, is like water going down a stream. Mm -hmm. I mean, you look at the most beautiful things in the world, they're all through that conflict the water has with the, the earth mm -hmm. and the wind, and it creates these beautiful flows. Mm -hmm. But what happens, and I use the analogy again of water, you know, it's, you know it, it goes through a pipe and it's dripping. There you've got, you know, and I think a lot of us can think about a, a drip that we hear and I don't know if you've had this experience where you think you hear something dripping but but you're not sure mm -hmm. I had that a few years ago and it was a drip it was my ice cube maker going in my uh. my ba or my crawl space but it's that's kind of like one of those things that we do there's that 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 thing that's barely above the subconscious that we know there's something off mm -hmm. and but it's that drip and there or there might be a drip in the sink in front of us since that thing we keep tolerating and we no longer even recognize that it exists because it's so part of the, the kitchen. It's the it's the faucet in the kitchen that just keeps dripping, and then you know then we can have a big puddle, right? A big puddle, and then we're mopping it up, and that's you know that's a whole nother level of water that's not being allowed to flow. Mm -hmm. It just it kind of sits there, and and so and then there's you know I have a I have a really great um, thing on this on this clip that shows a chandelier falling falling through the ceiling because of water that wasn't taken yeah, care of. And that's yeah, what yeah, ends yeah, up yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah. It gets bigger and bigger. So, yeah, I want to pause there yeah. because um, 
in that five element yeah. consciousness perspective, yeah. water is connected with our life force energy yeah. and our wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. And it's considered to be a precious reservoir because you yeah. get what you get. That's what I'm saying. You don't get upset. Yeah. And all of life and how we experience it is how we are in relationship and connection right. with that reservoir. Right. Um, you know, are we draining it? Right. You know, are we, you know, are there things that we're doing that are causing us to yeah. leak? Yeah. So um, such powerful it, it analogies is. when you think about that leak yeah. hidden in the basement. Yeah. Uh, or, yeah, that eventually leads to maybe a collapse in a foundation yeah. or the chandelier, the chandelier coming through the or the water and everything just, and that's what typically happens if we don't tend to it. It might come up in illness. Yeah. It can come out in people storming out of their jobs, which I think a lot of people are doing right now. Mm. I think a lot of the great resignation is a lot of really revealing where there's been conflict that hasn't been handled well. Oh, I got and, chills. <laughs> yeah, I think that's true. And, you know, it's interesting because I was, as I was thinking about this conversation with you, you know, one of the things I said before we got on camera is this is so great that it's Freedom Friday because mm -hmm. I believe, I believe that there's actually, I think there's three things that I believe is true, that I know are true. And one is, is that mastering conflict is the path to freedom. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm not talking about managing it or resolving it. Or controlling or it. Or controlling it. I'm talking because those are the most Googled words around conflict. And those things imply that it's bad and I want to get rid of it. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so I talk about mastering it because I think that's what you have to do. And now when I say master, it doesn't mean it's, you got it perfect because mm -hmm. you never will. But that you stay engaged in it and you work with it. So that it's not again stuck in that negative thing mm. and you 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 move with it so you you know and so i think eventually as you master conflict you don't even see things as conflict right so it, because it's just natural right yeah right, right, so right, right, i think right. that's where you get to <laughs> so the second thing i know is that um well and i was thinking about you because i love i so much love the work you do and the whole thing with wellness within and I teach a big part of that with centering mm -hmm. and breathing in the work I do. And that piece is so important, but it's not everything. And so you really have to have some strategy. Mm -hmm. So you have to have strategy and tools in terms of what do you do with this conflict? Yep. One of those things is to be well with them, to be centered. But how many people, I mean, I certainly can relate to this. When I, years ago, I started meditating, but then I'd go out and talk to somebody and they get me all upset. <laughs> so, yep. so there's, yep, yep, yep. so that's not the whole thing, but it's also a really important part of the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And the, let's see, the third thing that I know is true. Oh gosh, let's see. It's gone from me right now. Oh no. Oh no. Nothing is the third everything. thing. That's right. Well, I, I was thinking, I just was, I've been thinking about this a lot. Oh, I know conflict. You need support. Support. You know, and yeah. I think that support is such an important thing because we get out there in our own world and it's interesting. I have, we have a master Aikido instructor coming in this weekend Ooh. and she's going to stay at my house. And then all of a sudden it became this big party at my house. And I found myself, I woke up in the middle of the night kind of with all this anxiety because I, it, it just took me back to times where I've done big parties and it's been so stressful and I'm exhausted the next day next day and and I called Dave who was the head of our dojo and I just said hey we need to talk this through and it was so interesting because just talking with him it kind of brought me back to the place of this I can do this this mm. is not that big a deal but it was it's interesting because in, staying to, into our own little world things can seem so much bigger than they are right. than if you have support. So, yeah. so yeah. Oh my so, goodness. Yeah. Cause yeah, I mean, that's, that's so, this is all so timely, but, yeah. um, yeah. so yes, you know, these things like that drip, yeah, the that drip. when you yeah. woke up and yeah. you're like, Oh, 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 Oh. Yeah. So there's so many different directions yeah. you could go with that. You could just be like, screw it. I'm canceling the party. Right. Or you exactly. could go like, Okay. <laughs> okay. I got to pull it together. I got to do this. And then there's all that drain, right. like you said. Exactly. Exactly. And then there's like, hey, I'm just going to phone a friend and yeah. talk this through. Right. And because there's, all, there's, there's always... We're not in this alone, guys. We are not in this alone. <laughs> no. and, and, and yeah. And I always think you, you've got to have those trusted people yes. that you can talk to through things. And it's also, you know, recognizing just because 
it was one way in the past doesn't need to be the same way in the future. And as we approach yeah. the holidays, I think that's an important thing to remember. Yes. So, because I know a lot of people have family conflict. So. Yes. Yeah. Can yeah. you speak to that at all? We were talking about oh. that a little bit before, <laughs> before we got on camera as well. Oh, you know, I, I can say a, a lot of things like that about, well, I think, Maybe as you approach the holidays and family, I think it's really important to think about what your intention is. Mm -hmm. Because I was telling, we were talking earlier, you know, my former husband, the father of my kids and his wife and I were a pod during the pandemic. And we are very good friends. And a lot of people are always like amazed by that. But you know, when I, we, when we got divorced a long time ago, my, my intention was to have a good great relationship mm. with them and so if you have an intention it will I mean again you still need the tools to be able to do it but a lot of people start out with this intention of this is going to be miserable yep this is going to be miserable or I'm going to make them I'm going to make them pay for what they said last holiday right or so I'm, I'm going to you know I'm <laughs> but I but I think about what is your intention around Thanksgiving dinner? Is it having the perfect meal or is it having really great time with your family and friends? Yeah. And really get clear on that because if you have something that's set up that's that's got to be specific or otherwise it's a disaster, then you're set up for for failure. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you know, I remember taking my daughters to Italy when they were young much younger and my intent was to have a great time. So we may not have seen everything we could have seen, but my my intent was to really have this as shared experience that was that was positive and growth. And that's what we did. And that's what we did. We just really stayed together and we did what they wanted to do. We didn't go to Florence because they didn't want to go to Florence, but now they both have been there and love it. But so it, it's just interesting in terms of Intention. That is so powerful. Yeah. I was just speaking into yeah. a different group this morning yeah. before you arrived, mm -hmm. and it was about the concept of being responsive and reactive versus proactive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think that's what you're really yeah. speaking to is getting yeah. conscious of what might be happening behind the scenes in terms of your stories. Mm -hmm. I mean, this this can be really super duper clear when we're talking about a big event that's coming. Yeah, but really, this is all of life. It is. It's every day. Every it's single every day. day. Every yeah. moment. If you right. can be proactive and conscious and aware and yeah. set a clear intention, like yeah. that changes everything. It does. Because uh, you know, one of the other ways I was speaking of this with a a patient yesterday is is when we've set it up in our heads that there's going to be drama, that there's going to be trauma, yeah. that there's going to be conflict. We're going to attract that to ourselves yeah. because that's literally what we're that's asking what we're, for. And we're looking for it. We're looking and we're for it. we're even creating right. it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And you know, with, with all the division that we have in our country over politics and vaccines and masks and all of that too, I would invite people to just really think, again, through their intent mm. around that. Is their intent to make people wrong? Is there intent to be curious about where people are? You know, what is your intent? And if you can't show up and be honorable around that, then you might think about, well, why am I even going? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing. So I think really, because I think a lot of times what I notice, and I have a friend who will remain nameless, who's she and her sister have this really different viewpoint, and she has excluded her sister from family events. Mm. And it's kind of like, well, What's that about? Is that necessary? But I think at some point, you know, you dig your heels in and you think, I've got a position on this, and that's where we are. And 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 so I think there's some nuances of that. And you know, my work is all grounded in a martial art of Aikido, and it's like, you know, think about this. This is this is conflict when we feel that that push, and. The, and conflict can be, and actually conflict is creative. So one of the things I teach people is this is okay, but it, but what makes it destructive is it's too long, too hard, or too fast. Mm -hmm. And then then it gets to be the struggle. But you but really innovation is where you have that meeting of things come up. And then I say spiral. Mm -hmm. And so when you spiral, you move with it. And so there's a, a variety of ways to do that. But when I practice my art, 
if I'm feeling tense or if I'm grabbing hold of my partner, I'm, I'm stopping movement and then I'm creating resistance, which creates conflict. So it's a very subtle kind of thing. And um, anyway, that's, I think that's an important part of the whole thing is this, this right here is, is natural, but it's yeah. staying there, yes. it's staying there, making it too hard. It's, it, it gets to be really dysfunctional. And that's what most people think of when they think of conflict. Yeah. yeah. So another yes. way that right. I um, see that through the five elements is yeah. when we think about yes. our liver energy, yeah. um, that essence, that frequency is springtime. Yeah. And when we're in spring, it's intense. What has mm -hmm. to happen to create the transformation of spring is super duper intense. Yeah. And there is energy that's like this, yeah. but it doesn't stay forever. Right? Yeah. Right. right, and it's that pressure is necessary in order to nurture yeah. that creative expansion, but right. it's not going to stay like that forever because then that will be it. That yeah. that that will be the end of the life. Right. So that's the same right. thing in connection and relationships. Yeah. Staying like this can't be forever. Yeah. There has to be something like you said that that transforms within that connection. Yeah. Is there anything like practically in the way that you teach people when they're you know? Especially knowing that we're all going to well, be in intense connection in yeah. relationships. Well, you know, and, and, and that's one of the things in, on a you know three, thirty thousand foot viewpoint in this short discussion. Yeah. <laughs> so, so my my model, I I like to have people think spiral. So this is not a spiral. This is this is a straight line. This is force, and it's really the difference between force and power. Force is a straight line. Power is rotational. Mm. So, so I have a, it's four, four things. When you feel like you're doing this, one of the things, and, and if you're in Melissa's community, you know about being centered, being calm, being present with yourself. Really important thing. So are you there? Breathe. Do, do whatever you need to do to be there. Um, another thing is when we have conflict, we tend to make statements about it. So I tell people, think about what statements you're making about it. And it might be, I don't want to go there. This is always a disaster. That's a statement. So, so uh, turning it into an acknowledgement or a question. And th that could be, wow, in the past, this has been difficult for me. And how would it be if I approach this totally differently? Do you feel the difference in how mm -hmm. that is as a it's, setup? Yeah. Yeah, more yes. expansive. So you're so you're you're asking questions and acknowledging, and then the other one we just talked about was intent. And I often use the the term the the, the work I do is not about going in circles, even though you know we don't go head on, but it's not circles. It's a spiral, and the difference is there's that third dimension, and I think that's intent, mm -hmm. because a lot of times you think of a spiral as a downward awful thing. But a spiral is power, and so you want to direct it toward where you want to go, mm. and that's that's when I think about intent. Wow. Yeah. And um, and you know, and I, I think intent. I I in my longer sessions and in my book, I talk about uh, three levels of intent. One is the big picture, like maybe I'm building a house, or maybe it's a great holiday weekend. It it, it can be defined by a lot of different things. Then there's the deeper personal, and that's that to me my deeper personal intent is to honor myself and honor others. And I live my life thinking about that. Now, most of my earlier life, I used to try to honor other people and I left myself out of the equation. So then I, that was me the other night in anxiety, which was I was trying to honor everybody else and I needed to honor me. Yeah. So it's that, that's, that's part of intention is, is what's your purpose? What, what's your intent around how you want to be in the world mm -hmm. and then sandwiched between those two things is is the intention in the middle and i i always encourage people to think through when you're about to say something what's the intent behind it because oftentimes i think we get into just blurting out stuff without thinking why am i saying this <laughs> what's the intent behind what i'm about to say and i think that's that is huge i think um, if you really think about before you write a, you know, before you send an email, before you text something, what's your intention around that? Mm -hmm. And so then the, then the last, so I talked about there four, being four things. So you recognize you're doing that. You make sure you're centered. You start asking questions and acknowledge. You have, get clear on your intention and then ask for support. And that's, mm -hmm. again, yeah. that's a really high level 
um, thing. There's a lot of nuances and stuff within all of that, but it's um, it's what it is. And it, I and I tell it. you what, it works. Yes. Yeah, it, it always works when you follow these things. Mm -hmm. And I, even me, and I've been doing this a long time, I still have things I, I get stuck in. And Yeah, and well, I, and I think I you, to speak to yeah. um, like what you were talking about personally, yeah. Yeah. because the, what you're talking about isn't just about how you're relating to other people, it's about how you relate to yourself. Yes. You were having an internal conflict. Right, That's exactly. why you were feeling the way you were feeling, like something's out of alignment here. Yeah. So you went through the process of mm -hmm. bringing it to consciousness, and that's important. That's another thing I was talking about in my group today, is a yeah. lot of us get stuck yeah. in just like, okay, I'm aware. Yeah. Okay, I'm aware. So great, I'm aware, there's conflict. I'm aware, I'm having conflict. And right. then what? That, we're just, it's another level of like I'm just anchored at what am I gonna do? Right. So the yeah, yeah. so beautiful. Yeah. Um, the, yeah. the tools that yeah. we need those practical conscious things to do to support us. Yeah. In terms that, of that yeah, yeah, that's one yeah. of the thing, things that keeps resonating with me is how you know, the, we, we both have practices, like you have yeah. your Aikido. Right. But you you do that practice to do the bigger practice. I do. Which is the moment to moment to I, moment. I do. <laughs> and it and I've been practicing Aikido for thirty years and it's it's a spiritual practice for me, although that's not necessarily how it's taught. Mm -hmm. But to me, I think the 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 whole gift and the whole thing is to see how do I show up in relationship, and mm -hmm. and and that's what it is because we you know it is a martial art, so we we hit each other, and it actually, for me even, punching somebody was something that required a lot of effort on my part early in my practice because that's about entering into. And and so it's it's it, there's a punch you got to enter into it mm -hmm. and and that's a that's a big thing about really living a great life and mm -hmm. and it's it's interesting because you it's that whole again dance between it between things and we have a a young man that started practicing and he's a he's a pacifist and he says you know I have a really hard time as a pacifist punching somebody and it's like well you know we do that so we can practice with each other but actually from a the standpoint of you know there's that old saying of keep your friends close but keep your enemies closer mm. and you can't learn about somebody or something that you hold apart from you yeah and so that that entering and that punch is what we call entering yeah so yeah another like another phrase yeah. that keeps coming up yeah. is connecting in through a place of power uh-huh exactly. right so like if you're coming into connection and relationship and you're either too much yeah or not right then what do you get in relationship versus like I am fully present and connected here so right. it's yeah right. that's important you know and there's nothing more fun than in my practice when you practice with somebody that really knows how to move mm -hmm. and it's so much fun because the the momentum is really momentum great. yeah it's all a momentum <laughs> and it's so much fun and you know there's all that learning with it we we learn to fall and we learn to get up and we learn to move so that it doesn't hurt and we do all that stuff and it's it's so it's it is it's a real rush so <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. It's yeah. yeah. It's the dance yeah. of life. Yeah. Well, thank you yeah. so much. This was amazing. Yeah. Um, if you want to learn more, I've got Karen's website, yeah. and she's got a beautiful book that covers these concepts yeah. as well. Um, yeah. Also, for anyone who's watching, it's not too late to join us tomorrow. We're doing a relationship workshop. I saw that. I thought uh, that was great. It's going to be cold, but we can bundle up and yeah, we'll have lots cold. of heaters. Well, I'm going to be in Aikido on the mat tomorrow, so I'll awesome. be able yeah. to join you. But yeah, yeah, for anyone who uh, wants to learn more, I'll post more on that. Um, it's yeah. Let in the Light, Rewriting Your Relationship Stories Through the Language of Love. So we'll be approaching these concepts from other angles as well. Yeah. yeah. So well, yeah. yeah, any final well, words? Well, you know, I, I will say so often when people hear me talk or they, they'll go out and Google Aikido right away. And by the way, that's spelled A-I-K-I-D-O. Um, but I have, um, if you go to my website, which you can get to Spiral Impact, or my name, um, there's a resource page, and there's some a lots of there's free resources there. And at the bottom, I have posted two what I consider absolutely beautiful Aikido, and it's my my late teacher um, Sensei Kevin Choate, and his Aikido is so beautiful. So 
there's not a, all Aikido is not beautiful and all teachers are not fabulous. So <laughs> kind of like everything else, but, but there's resources there. And actually I've, I've, I've actually got an online membership community too, that I'm just, it's just kind of getting going. Her so, emails are awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Actually yeah, I shared so. the one that I got yesterday. Oh yeah. Pushing. Oh yeah. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. Isn't that great? Yeah, it's yeah, so good. It's, it's, it's so good. It's, 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 it says it all right there, right. doesn't it? It does. Yeah. yeah, I know. Well, thank you. This well, was awesome. This was fun. I so appreciate it. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah. We'll do a party so song for everybody. Love. Thanks all for right. tuning in, everyone. Take care. <laughs>